Hey kids, I hope you'll had a great Christmas and a happy new year. It's 2021 now, which is pretty crazy. This week we're going to learn about living like Jesus. Um, one of Jesus' disciples named Peter wrote two books in the Bible, First and Second Peter. And he wrote these letters um, in the Bible to churches and to believers who are facing a really hard time. And Peter actually wrote his second letter while he was in prison. He was arrested for being a follower of Christ, um, but he still wrote this letter, Second Peter, which is what we're going to learn about today, while he was in prison. And in this letter, Peter talks about all that Jesus has done for us. And over the past few months, we've learned about how Jesus lived this perfect life, um, but then he was arrested um, and died for us and took our place. But then three days later, he was raised from the dead um, and defeated sin and death. And then ultimately he ascended or went back into heaven. And so Peter goes over all this and then he urges um, his believer, the believers like him to follow and to live like Jesus. So as you're learning more about this lesson, I just want to remind you that God not only calls us, but he helps us to live like Jesus. Um, and this letter, 2 Peter, is full of practical ways that we can live like Jesus. So I hope you'll have a good time learning about this lesson, and I miss y'all. Bye! Peter was one of Jesus' disciples who became a leader in the early church. He wrote two letters in the Bible to help believers who were facing hard times. When Peter wrote his second letter, he was in a Roman prison. He had been arrested because he was a follower of Jesus. Peter wrote, We have everything we need because we know Jesus. When we trust in his righteousness, he gives us power to live for him. He is good and he promises us good things. So this is how we should seek to live. Along with faith, Seek these things, goodness, knowledge, self-control, patience, brotherly affection, and love. When we have these qualities, Jesus will be glorified in our lives. When we remember the good promises God has for us, we can rely on his power to resist temptation. Peter wanted the believers to remember what Jesus had done for them. Jesus did the greatest work by dying on the cross. He has taken away our sins. Because of Jesus, God invites us into his kingdom and gives us eternal life. Peter wrote, God has chosen you and given you his power, so do everything you can to live like Jesus. Peter knew he was going to die soon. So he also wrote, you already know what I'm telling you. I want to keep reminding you as long as I am living, so that you will remember even after I'm gone. We did not tell you made up stories. We told you what we saw and heard. Jesus lived a perfect life and died the death we deserve for our sin. When we trust in Jesus, God forgives our sins and changes our hearts. Jesus calls and empowers his followers to live like him.